All right, hello everyone. You might notice that my voice sounds a little different and a little weird. That is because my headphones broke and I need new ones. Hopefully I'll get them soon. So here we have our lovely game. You might notice your cat cannot walk no matter what you do. That's because we're gonna do the start screen today. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hover over, choose a sprite and grab paint. And then you're gonna rename the sprite title. So that's what it's going to be called. You're going to go over to the code, go to events, when green flag clicked, drag it in there. Um, motion, you're going to grab go to x, go to go to x blank, go to y blank. Then you're going to click x zero, y zero. You're going to change it to look like And then you're going to go to change color effect by 25, drag it in there, but don't do anything with it yet. Scroll down a little bit, set color effect to zero. And then when it says change color effect by five, 25, you're going to click five. You're also going to click the little arrow, go down and change it to ghost. The next thing you're going to do is change this to ghost as well. And you're going to set ghost effect to zero. So we're going to drag it up here. Um, then you're going to go to costumes. And you're going to make convert to bitmap. And then you can draw whatever you want in there. But the only uh, the only thing that has to it has to do is you have to fill the entire background in. It has to be completely made covered. I'll give you an example. This is the one I made for my game. Title screen. It looks like this, which is kind of cute. I based it off of a picture. It's going to look like that. So when I click the green flag, it's going to go right into the middle, just like it should. It's so gorgeous. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, so then you're going to go to events when I receive message one drag it over here you're gonna, you're gonna click on the arrow go to new message started as your new message then you're going to go to control repeat 10 then you're gonna change that to 20 the 10 to 20 and you're going to drag change ghost effect by 5 down here. And then I'll show you what it does in a little bit. So basically, it looks all gorgeous. And then we're going to go to looks. And then we're going to go scroll down where it says go to front layer. I'm going to drag it in anywhere you want on here. Then click it back. Change the arrow down and change it to back. So this is what it's going to look like a little bit. That's our title screen. Isn't it gorgeous? And then you're going to grab show. Bring it to the very top of under green flag clicked. And then you're going to grab hide. Drag it down to the very bottom of started. So that's important, okay? Where they go is pretty important. That one doesn't really matter so much. This one matters. It must go underneath the repeat 20. So the next thing you're going to do is create another sprite, name it Start. And I had made some mistakes a little bit earlier, so it might be a little annoying. But what you're going to want to do is you're maybe going to make a square, maybe change the color, and put like some text in. This is the text button. You're going to put like start, that's stat, but you know what I mean. But the thing is, you, you might want to make it fancy. Mine doesn't look very fancy. It's going to look like this. It says start on it. And I had made some mistakes with this. It's not very pretty. I wanted to move this down. I tried to make a video, video on the same thing earlier. And I messed up so many times that I was just like, you know what? I'm going to redo this. So there, it says start. Then we're going to go to the code. There is absolutely no code in this, 
yet. So we're going to drag when blank clicked. We're going to go back over to title, drag this down to start. And it'll just pop right back up here. That's fine. Go to start. And wow, it magically copied itself. So drag it down to here. We're going to take out go to back layer. So, you, so say it's here. You just take what's all underneath it, drag it underneath show, and then get rid of the bottom. So it should look like this. And then when this sprite clicked, so it should look like this, not when space key press. When this sprite clicked, drag it over here. Then we're going to grab this script right here from title. Drag it down here. And then we're going to put it right under here. But then we're going to grab broadcast started. Should be what it says. Drag it underneath when the sprite clicked. And it has to be right here. So we're actually going to change the go to X and we're actually going to go to looks, change size to, and it's going to say 100%. I'm actually going to change my size to 70. You can kind of mess around with the sizes until it's about the size you want. Um, yeah, that it might do that. Just click the stop. You might want to disconnect this little script for a little while while you move it around and try to find the right spot. So you're going to look at X, it says 160, so we're going to type in this first blank, 160, and this is Y19, so we're going to type in 19. So then when space is the green flag, click the green flag, and it should go right here. We're going to set the size to 70, it's going there. Then we're going to drag this back on so that when this sprite is clicked, it's going to do it right. Then, the next, oh, sorry. You're going to go to ghost set ghost effect. You're going to click 100. You might be like, wait, what? That's not how it works. Then you're going to duplicate this by right clicking and clicking duplicate. 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 <laughs> duplicate. And it'll create a duplicate. Then you're going to go down here. You're going to take off hide. That's not what we want. Then you're going to click on the 5 and click negative 5, or put in negative 5. So it'll fade in like that. When you click it, it'll fade out. So that is what you want. That is very much what you want. Then you're going to go to player, your little kitty sprite down here that you cannot move. And you're going to put looks. You're going to go to looks, scroll down a little bit, and it should say show and hide, grab hide, Put it right underneath this flag. So then you're going to go to start. And remember your kit, cat should be kitten size if it's starting out as a kitten in the game. So that's important too. I don't know if I said that last video. And there's another thing you have to know. You're going to go to variables. And you're going to grab set scar to zero. It might say something else depending on what you named your things. You're going to go to your started script. I put started, question mark, it could be whatever you wanted. Set started to yes. So then you're going to drag it right up here. That's fine. Then you are going to go over to player, go to looks, drag in the change color effect and the set color effect. Change them both to ghost, of course. Up here, the change effect by 5. That's what you want. You're going to set ghost effect to 100. We are on the player script, by the way. I don't know if I said that. So we're going to set ghost effect to 100. When Then we're going to go to events. When I receive started, you're going to go up to looks, scroll down a little bit, drag in show, then we're going to recreate that one script. So repeat 20 times. Repeat 20, it just says. Change ghost effect by 5. So let's try it. So the kit disappears. That's fine. Click start. And it did not do what I wanted it 
to do. I'm sorry. Negative 5. Sorry about that. Click start. And then your kit should be able to walk. Oh my gosh. That's because started has started. So that way your kit can't run around while the title screen is on. Because that would be annoying. So then we're going to go to paint. Add in a new thing. And then we're going to title it music. Because that's great. That, that's what we want. Then you're going to convert to bitmap and make something very similar to this. Or the same. You might want to drag the costume down to music. That's fine. It'll copy it over there. But the thing we I want is... Actually, I'm going to grab the start and drag it down here. Mostly to show you what it looks like, but also because I messed up earlier. This is one of the things I messed up on. I forgot to make a music thing. But... That's fine. If you make a mistake, you can just use the fill tool and click on your words until it is completely and utterly gone. So then I'm going to grab this, set that to 5. I'm sorry about this, guys. Um, I forgot where, how, what. Sorry about that. This is a mess. That's fine. Zoom in a little bit. I'm doing this with you guys. Music. And then, ooh, music. And then you're going to write on. And that's what it's, no, that O is really bad. That's also really bad. Why can't I make an O? Yeah, that's pretty good. You're going to write music O. And then you're going to go up here, right-click, duplicate. And then you're going to go up to the first one. You're going to write on in the costume. Then write and in. Then you're going to go down here. Instead of start to, it's going to be off. And then you're going to write F, F. So that's what it's going to look like. Then we're going to go over to start, go over to the code, Grab both things, one at a time, drag it over here. So it's going to look a little different. First of all, one of the things we want to change is the go to x. So let's set the size to 70%. You kind of dissect this little area. Move it down here. I messed up. You're going to get rid of this script because <laughs> I can change it later. So it's going to look kind of like this. So one of the things you want to check is 160. You want it to be the same X. So X is 168 over here. So we're going to keep the 160 here. But then we're going to look at this. Negative 68. Negative 68 is what we really want. So negative 68. The Y. And we're going to drag this back over here and this over here. So then they fade in at the same time. And it goes to this. One thing we have to do, too, is go to looks, switch costume to, and make sure it's on. So then it's music on. When this sprite clicked, you're going to drag in from events. Then you're going to go to looks, next costume. And then, when I receive started, you're going to go to control. If, blank, then, and then else. You want to grab the longer one. And then equals 50. <laughs> it shouldn't be 50, though. Let's try. And then right on where it says 50. Then we go to looks. Drag it down a little bit. It should say costume number right here. Drag it up here. Change number to name. And then it will be if costume name is on. And then it'll do pretty much nothing. But sound, set volume to 100%. Otherwise, drag it down here. Set volume to 0%. So then if you change music off, then the music will be off. If that makes sense. So then... You want to go over here. Paint... 
and then make one more thing. You're going to, I'm going to upload, you don't have to, but it should look like this a little bit, Tom or she cat, and then a little female symbol, or you can write she cat or whatever. I write the female symbol because that's what I do. And then down here, you can change this to gender. You're going to go back over to the code, drag over um, this script, the long one, drag it over to gender. And then you're going to go down here and you're going to create the same thing, but it's going to say, it's going to have the Tom symbol. So basically, dissect it a little bit, make sure this is out, click it. It should look like this. Drag it to where you want it to be. It should be 160. It should be the same. Y, negative 154. Negative 154. Drag it back to where you want it. Click the green flag. And they're all in a row, and it all looks nice. So, but then we have to do something similar to music. So we're going to grab this, this little thing. Drag it over here. And then you can change this costume name to She Cat and this costume name to Tom. Mine already says that, so I'm fine. And you're going to get rid of the set volume things, and you're going to go up, up here and write Tom in the blank. Then you're going to go on to variables. It's time to make a new variable. You can write gender in the blank, or you can write something else. It doesn't really matter, as long as you remember. Hide gender by clicking the little check mark. Set gender to Tom. Or if it's the else, set gender to she cat. And I like to, up here, you want to switch costume to, um, so let's say she cat. Whatever you want it to default be, basically. Whatever the default is, she, cat, or Tom, you want to make sure it's the right one. But the next thing you want to make sure is that everything is in order. One thing that's not in order is this. This is not in order. As you can see, it's not in music, and it's not in gender. That is something, oops, you want to make sure this is connected again. We have to make sure that this goes when it, when I receive started, and it has to be at the end or in the beginning. It doesn't really matter, I guess, but it has to be there. So then you'd click. Oh, sorry. When I click, when this sprite clicked, go to next costume. So then music would be on and off. Tom and Chicat would be Tom and Chicat. And we'll add more later so that we'll actually have music. And we'll actually, the Tom and She Cat will actually make sense. So thank you for watching. Make sure you go to File, Save to Your Computer, Small the Game, or whatever you want to call it. Yes. Save that, baby. And this should look pretty good. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.